Okay. So our today's today is an introductory class on internet technology. Uh, generally, I will discuss some preliminary idea, some fundamental idea. Maybe it may uh, play as a role of a prerequisite for this intern for this subject. Why would we study this subject before you? So starting on any subject, first you have to know the importance of it, otherwise you will not get interested in that way. So you have to first know why will I study this subject. Okay. So uh, this we will be discussing briefly. And in the next class, I will discuss according to your syllabus what will be the course outcome or the program outcomes right according to your syllabus what will we get as output from this subject after learning this one this uh, we will be discussing in the next class so let us start on uh, this about this into uh, some basic or preliminary conception on the all uh, Everybody of us in this uh, nowadays, we are using uh, internet from our childhood, right? Isn't it? Could you tell me one thing that um, when we use a browser, when we use a browser in net, what happens just now you log you have logged in in your gmail or whatever account you are registered with so when you just uh, entered that url url means no url what does it stand for you are sir uniform resource locator okay Uniform resource location, or you can call it universal resource location, it will not be wrong. Okay, some books say, so. anyways. So it comes as an uniformity according to the format we are supposed to uh, supply in our uh, browser, right? Through some port. So, what generally happens when we supply an url let's say for example in uh, gmail you are entering an url from your computer or from your uh, uh, laptop or from your mobile what exactly happens very briefly do you have any idea anybody uh, can uh, say something Mr. anyone? Don't feel hesitated. Don't feel that if you tell something wrong, I'll be scolding on you. Just take it as a discussion. From your common sense, whatever comes in your mind, you have to, uh, you have to just answer. You have to be interactive, right? In industry, what happens, whatever you are saying, it doesn't matter what you are telling always right or not, but you have to be interactive, right? To get you to, uh, to make yourself as a productive engineer, as a sellable engineer, as an industry ready people, you have to be interactive. Okay, uh, let's answer. Uh, what actually happens when you enter and you are right there for say for example in google what happens actually just from your just looking from your uh, from your end right from your interface uh, what you are working on could anybody answer out of 38 nobody hmm? nobody will dare to reply So much. Uh, who is your seer? Who is your seer? Any such? Yes, sir. Who? Ne ne or or yes, sir. Or is Sonika, right? Yes, sir. Sonika, 
so you just start answering whatever comes in your mind what happens when you just in just uh, type an address right in the address bar in your browser what happens let's say you are going to open uh, gmail what happens generally hmm? no idea from your common sense anyways uh let me uh, you will think uh, about the answer i will not just reply if i sir if i hmm. yes sir so if i may ah. if i may answer sir so, uh, mm -hmm. so according to me sir so when i when a certain uh, url is uh, entered in the uh, browser so mm -hmm. the, the so we are the client side Yeah. So the client side sets a, sends us a request to the server or the internet, where the URL is searched on the through the internet, and uh, and the particular URL is uh, searched through the internet, and after after the uh, URL is found, it it will goes to their server. From the from that server, the website a particular website is fetched, and after after the after the website is fetched, it is sent to our client side. Yeah. Yes, as simple as that. Absolutely right. Thank you, sir. I wanted you to say something. Whatever it hits the actual sense or not, that I didn't want. I wanted whatever comes to my mind. I generally uh, used to uh, interact with my students in this way. Don't sir, be sorry for being late, sir. Sorry for being late. Oh uh, yeah, but from right now I am also late today, so I have no right to tell people that come in time. But for the to, to get my system ready, I got a bit late. So from the next on time onwards, you will try to join in time. Uh, me too, right? Anyways, ah, uh, so uh, what Navneet say uh, say uh, definitely is right. But um, what happens? Let me uh, tell you uh, a bit more. Uh, briefly right what happens that when we enter an url address plus the http you can say https or http it's actually maintains the format hypertext transfer protocol so using this port universally is being accepted right there are some protocols um whenever you will be st starting this subject you will always uh Keep on uh, listening to this term that uh, that and protocol. Protocol is nothing. It's a set of rules which are required to have an efficient communication between sender and receiver. in internet means you have to get yourself connected with some other persons okay maybe one to one maybe one to many maybe many to one maybe many to many this four modes may happen okay er beshe kichu hote pare na okay then so using this http whenever you are sending something means you are sending a request just what nobnit said fine good now this request has to be processed first before it gets forwarded to the server now let's skip this particular uh, there's a point there's a point in uh, which uh, comes uh, in between this right so this processing is done first right whether this you are all this address is valid or not if you search a particular if you uh, put an url which is not valid the domain is not uh, domain doesn't exist right say if you have by mistake you have uh, written your gmail account name or whatever it is right gmail you have typed why no whatever so maybe in uh, any, any uh, domain with that name doesn't exist then first it has to be processed right so this is called web server web server right it gets processed generally 
from which location you are entering from that local server which is taking care of your internet locally okay. from that local server it will be forwarded directly to that area let's say if you uh, uh, enter uh, google.co.uk so it will be redirect to the google search engine of uk if you write google.co.us it will be eventually redirected to the google search engine of usa we are getting what google.co.in isn't it so it is valid for our uh, search engine google search engine of india so there are so many domain according to the domain and sub domain this uh, traffic gets directed and hits the actual server so first of all there are so many gateways where your request are all is always being monitored and processed and checks whether it is valid or not so before you hit the actual server there are so many intermediate stages what the common people uh is not aware of but you the engineers especially software engineers or the computer science engineer must be aware of that right is a very basic thing to start internet technology got it any confusion i didn't uh, describe the, the that method or process that we will be gradually discussing uh whatever i said is clear so there are so many intermediate steps for the processing of your url got it now let me uh, start a presentation for today's introductory lecture got it are you, oh, all of you are ready so be attentive you are not responding why you are not that much uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. why I yes sir ready hmm hello hello ready sir yeah be interactive please my class i always want all of you to be interactive right i am a teacher i am experienced teacher i am a senior professor it's not that i know everything i believe that till date i will learn so a good teacher must be a good learner first what do you say right it's not that always whatever i'll be saying is right it's not that right and just generally i uh, if you uh, follow my class or if you know about me i generally don't use any that much conventional books or thin these things whatever i deliver from my practical experience from my industrial experience i generally try to deliver so it must be associated with the real life scenario it's not that always you will be uh, studying a book and you have to uh, take all these things in your mind as a junk mail and after that after completion of the exam uh, you will be just vomiting on this no there is no use of it getting a degree is uh, it's not your purpose your purpose is you have to be motivated you have to love this subject you have to love this domain maybe you don't want to be a soft you want to work on this technical domain so many persons may have a plan to you know, get into an administrative domain then also then also if you go to the administration domain along with your technical background you will always get a good mileage generally you can you, you can find so many persons from mba right but the persons who are mba along with their technical background along with their engineering background generally uh, are, are respected are, are, are um, get uh, more salary right more remuneration from my own experience i can say so don't ignore anything each and every subject will 
give you some um, will give you some benefit in your in, in building your career in that sense okay so let us start a presentation of today 39 people have joined okay fine uh, one thing i can i tell you that since this uh, my system is uh, my system is monitoring your attendance it happens that uh, just to attend the class to uh, uh, students what they do they just uh, log into the that this just join the meeting and after five to ten minutes they leave out so those people will not get attendance so because here the time stamp even also has been recorded when you are joining and when you are leaving by system so those who will be there for the entire session will get attendance right and generally i don't uh, emphasize uh, on attendance okay i generally want you people to attend uh, in real sense means whatever i am saying you just uh, try to learn something on, on this subject okay that will be the effective attendance so anyways so let us take our students presentations uh, let me start with this one see uh, here and i will be supplying this pdf in your google classroom also okay so this internet overview if you just go through this uh, this material you will come to know so this uh, as i just whenever we will be starting internet technology always think about the protocol it is maintaining got it so protocol means i told you it's some uh, rules or set of rules by which two ends uh, these uh, two parties may have a uh, connection may have a uh, communication uh, in an efficient manner this is all about this protocol this protocol generally uh, we work on all over, all over world two protocols we can work to protocol in a broader sense so one is tcp ip another is uh, iso osi okay so um, internet for internet generally we use tcp ip and for iso osi the general model which works on this lan man no one so you have to uh, start protocol also anyways so for tcp ip you know that uh, whatever i we are discussing we started with that url each and each and every url each and every an uh, address in non technical word if i say uh, has an ip address ip address right dns domain name management actually what it does it maps your name your url you are supplying that name will be mapped to the ip generally this ip uh, uh, this ip uh, is very very important for the web server to process they don't work on the name name is for the user let's say if you want to uh, if you want to um, if you want to uh, get into a uh, domain so always we what we do we search with the name of the domain isn't it if you are supposed to uh, if you are supposed to uh, 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 enter the ip address so it's not possible for us how will you keep it in mind these numbers so it's very difficult for us so always we prefer to recall with the name of the domain so this is the responsibility of the dns domain name server it comes under domain management system of the server to map this name to ip right so this is like this word is written in here so dns domain name server resolves the name let's say for bbit.edu.in okay definitely it has an ip associated with the name so we it's, it's not uh, possible for us to always to remind that uh, ip this some 
four uh, four octets is called okay these are octet means eight bits are there eight 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 thirty two bits right so combination of this means this uh, number is not possible to remind always so definitely we will just write www.bbid.edu.in it's not possible for us to write this www uh, sorry http colon slash this protocol hypertext transfer protocol and after that these uh, numbers okay it's not possible for us so from user end we enter with the name and this is the responsibility of the domain manager to a domain name server to map this name to ip okay so first and foremost thing is this so all this whatever i told you before your target gets reached means uh, your uh, your request is uh, pro is processed with the server so many intermediate steps are there to resolve or to process got it so this is a pictorial representation mm. and the server okay with a particular server may have to handle with this many devices the sort of devices this kind of devices so evolution if you go through that i am not just reading out i am not wasting my time to read out this all these things but it is uh, for you to for, for it is uh, for for your exam also you will get lot of questions on this so evolution you will just uh, read out once then it will be very easy for you to have a confidence for your exam also so many advantages of are there you know i don't need to reiterate what are the advantages of this internet technology but unfortunately some disadvantages uh, also are there some technical as well as some ethical so i don't need i, I will not Uh, say anything about that ethical disadvantage is that you people uh, know better okay and it is also one of these discussion from the syllabus anyway so whatever will be uh, talking about all these technical advantages or technical disadvantage ethical disadvantage depends upon you how you are utilizing the net you are not utilizing your media it's uh, uh, entirely up to you right in each and every uh media every form of media has some advantages or disadvantages and now it depends on how you are utilizing this one anyways so advantages uh, this social uh, education entertainment online services all these internet advantages are there so you will study this one you know all these terms uh, better than me you are always available with this right hello are you listening are you listening yes sir yes sir yes sir hmm okay yes sir okay uh, maj, yes sir aaj maj ek to sada pada dio baba thik ache hale bujhi jai je tumra registration kor lao bore feel korcho na to hello ekdom na sir bore feel korcho ami abar golpo kora shuru kore di majhe modhe bujhis na ami boke jabo ar tora do sir ki বকে যাচ্ছে কি বুঝতে পারছি না তো আমিও চাই না আমিও কোনোদিন ক্লাসে ওভার অ্যাটেন্ড করিনি আমি চেয়েছিলাম আমার টিচাররা অলওয়েজ আই উইল হ্যাভ আ ফান উইল বি ইন্টারেস্টেড ইন জয়নিং দ্য ক্লাসেস রাইট সো আমি এইভাবেই চাই আমার কাছে পড়াতে হবে একটা টিচারের মত না তোরা শুনে যাবি কিছুই বুঝবি না সব মাথার মধ্যে ট্যাঞ্জেন্ট হয়ে বেরিয়ে যাবে নো ইউজ অফ ইট ঠিক আছে তো মাঝে মাঝে একটু ইন্টারঅ্যাক্টিভ আমিও তো বোর ফিল করব আমি বলে যাচ্ছি আর তোরা শুনে যাস কতক্ষণ বকে যাব বল না তাই তো হ্যালো অল অফ ইউ আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড বেঙ্গলি হ্যালো স্যার আমি বাঙালি স্যার নো স্যার নো স্যার হ্যাঁ হাউ মেনি অফ ইউ ডোন্ট আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড বেঙ্গলি यहां पे कितना जन है जो बांग्लादेश सर मी आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड बंगाली कंप्लीटली
so you should have been a uh, bit uh, comfortable with the bengali not comfortable at least you should understand bengali you should, you should have learned right anyways it's your choice i'm just saying this any uh, uh, apart from navnita any any anybody else who do, don't understand who doesn't understand bengali or don't understand bengali anyways let's generally what i do i uh, generally take my classes in english and if uh, any problem is there for you to understand i reiterate this one in hindi or bengali whatever you like so whatever according to your uh, whatever you feel comfortable with i do right i deliver in that way anyways so don't feel hesitated if you maybe uh, if you under, don't understand anything if you think that uh, i should not should i ask to, to uh, repeat this topic should i ask sir no don't feel hesitated whenever you will be uh, uh, you'll be facing any difficulty you will not understand anything instantly you should ask me anyways let us come back to the discussion so this uh, very preliminary and fundamental things uh, you will just go through internet internet how means our day to day activities without internet now after pandemic i think this internet has been uh, very essential right uh, we can forget our uh, this uh, manual activities right we can forget to uh, get some foods uh, but we sh should not forget about the internet always you have to be online right we are totally dependent on this online right even that uh, excuse uh, for not to attend or for not attend the classes will be invalid from this semester onwards right because all of you must depend on the online class or oh, the entire world depends on the online class and our new uh, education policy will come under this right so believe it or not our new education policy is going to emerge uh, in near future within 2 to 3 years so but there that intend that they are taking classes taking virtual classes is also very very important whether the pandemic sustains or not that doesn't matter so uh, that excuse word generally uh, are there uh, was there for you the internet is user my data uh, is not supporting i please this is the problems so this uh, will not be valid anymore because you have to attend the internet uh, this classes online classes through internet so internet banking matrimonial services online shopping online ticket booking online bill payment data sharing email i don't know why it comes under this matrimonial services anyways because of matrimonia matri this matrimonial services has got the second priority is it <laughs> hello hello i think it should come at last or first i don't know it depends anyways i'm just uh, kidding so internet provides a concept of electronic commerce e commerce whatever uh, nowadays everything generally we don't need to uh, go to any uh, shop to purchase anything so so many online uh, this uh, apps are there through which you can purchase your daily uh, requirements right disadvantage this is very very important right you will get a question from this that how uh, we means what are the disadvantage of this internet also threat to personal information spamming cyber crime virus attack for example i can tell you in a uh, in the last previous semester i didn't take a single class on zoom hello do you know why i didn't take any single class on zoom because this information uh, i was having that there is a chance for this software to uh, take your important information hacked from your system but if it is a purchased version right means uh, there are so many uh, reputed institute uh, in the world right uh, let's say mit or this uh, uh oxford or uh, the pain street okay so many uh, 
my friends are there in teaching, they generally, I ask them that uh, which platform you are using. They are told that initially they are using Zoom. But that person is completely purchased and via VMS, via VMS they are logging and ultimately that VMS, that VMS of the institute uh, forwards their uh, link to the Zoom, so not directly accessible. So their system, their own system is not directly accessible by Zoom. But here, if I uh, directly access, want to access that Zoom server to take your online class, there is a chance, a probability to uh, get your personal information hacked. So that's why I didn't take a single, I think I tested a, a single class model. Uh, always I uh, use this um, YouTube Live I used and Google Meet, uh, Cisco ABEX, I take few classes, I took few classes on Cisco ABEX and most of the classes I took on uh, 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 YouTube Live and this uh, Google Meet. Generally I use two, two to three uh, the platforms, two to three softwares, right? Right now, where I am taking your classes, what I will be doing, I will be, I am taking this class on Google Meet. After that, I will present it on OBS, through OBS Studio, I will present it. After that, I will be uploading this entire, uh, entire representation to the YouTube, right? So this, uh, with the three steps, I generally do so that it uh, will have a professional a sense right anyways so it's uh, required for you also because now onwards i don't know if this pandemic sustains so you would have to present yourself your uh, requirement uh, in your working place professional to uh, your, to your uh, system from your home anyway so many other nation causes this one uh already anyways so we will be trained according so let us come back with our discussion so these are the uh some preliminary ideas about the internet what are the advantages or disadvantages to the point it is written over there what is spamming spamming you know that you uh, all of us generally get some junk mails right emails in bulk if you process that emails that is that uh, a particular process a program uh, starts running that program generally intends to hack to disturb your system entire system it may work as a uh, virus or there may be some other purposes also generally this spamming has no purpose uh, apart from your system uh, gets uh, disrupted right system becomes slow you know virus, I don't need to talk anything about the virus. So many types of viruses are there that we will discuss as a known record. Okay. So any other things you can say here? Uh, at disadvantage, ethical disadvantages, I was talking about this. And there are various websites which is not that much authenticated. So if you uh, generally use those uh, websites, automatically the virus will come about uh, the purpose is to attack your system with the virus. Uh, that's why sometimes system gives you an um, uh, alert that don't open this site. This will attack your uh, servers, right? It will attack your system. And intranet, you know, intranet generally what happens that within the uh, within the domain within the your uh, area if you without means uh, without a network without internet if just a land like a land man and one right your local area network uh, uh, means there will be a uh, server and so many computers or nodes will be connected with your server so this will be this is isolated from the outside world outside world this is within your campus right or within some campuses which may be um, placed in remote places with some local uh, with some individual uh, 
uh, uh, port, okay, that may be also considered as a uh, intranet, right? So benefits of intranet, see, these are written. I am not reading out all these, right? I'm not wasting my time. So all these you will just uh, study cost effective, work productivity. This will uh, important. This is, this is important for you for your exam, right? So when issues are there, so managed. Ma so these are the applications. What applications? What ultimately? uh applications of this internet internet applications document publication internet publication support for internet application resource uh, electronic resource applications you will just go through uh to the point i have i will be giving this module what the, the difference or the comparative study between internet and intranet it is also very very important very very important right most of the Time you will get at least you have you got one question on this the difference between internet a comparative study between internet and internet is very brief uh, comparative study I will elaborate it later on okay so let us conclude our today's discussion any question on this uh, today we have just discussed about the introductory concept or some basic idea about the internet what we do with we always uh, work on internet but really we don't have that much technical idea on this right so any one of you any questions if you have any questions then you can do now i stop i don't understand start the saying something are bored feel karchi bhai kuch to thoda bol ebar ami bukta chhe ada ek ghanta dori sir ab dekh ek cup cha ke khali kotha bole jacchi bujhte ho is breakfast of the koi thoda bol breakfast i don't Breakfast, breakfast, uh, please. Breakfast, what are you talking about? Hello? 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 Oh, who will think about that class, sir? Good. I'm going to think about that class. 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 Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Why girls are silent? Hello? The class is going to be my class. The class is going to be. हेलो यस सर नहीं किए ब्रेकफास्ट यस और आई कैन सी ओके एनीवेज तो चल ताले आज के स्टॉप करछी लेट अस स्टॉप टुडे जे और माजे मध्ये देख भी तोरा जेटा कोरिस ना जॉइन करे उनना क्लास करते चले जास एई गुलो कोरिस ना आमी तो माजे मध्ये इंटरेक्टिव होई सो आई विल स्टार्ट uh i uh, questioning uh with your name like say sonika are you present yes sir okay fine so i sir. just i am um, test kar le beech beech mein kisi ne wo ke ho gaya movie dekh raha hai ho sakta hai so anyway no, i will test whether you are really present or not anyways so let's uh, uh, conclude Or today's session, I don't understand the so difference. Huh? Sir, I don't understand the difference between uh, intranet and extranet. Intranet and extranet. Intranet. I just tell you that if you have say uh, say BBIT and GIMS, okay, these yes, organizations are located in a uh, in a in a remote places. Means there is a distance between these two organizations, right? Yes, sir. Now, say forget about the internet. So, intra intranet. So, BBIT has its own local server to get all the nodes connected with it, right? And yes. GIS also has its local server. Local servers. Don't forget about the internet. Local servers. I'm talking about like the LAN. So, these two LANs. Okay. If I want to join this one, so I have to. Uh, establish a personal uh, connectivity with these two servers. So these are yes. called extranet. Okay. Yes. Even man and one, uh, you may have a dedicated, uh, dedicated uh, communication with the prior permission of the authority. Uh, okay. 
means that you have to take you know permission from the internet service provider so you can get a dedicated one like say the ministers or the mps or whatever this uh, this these people for this people there may be a separated a dedicated uh, communication path uh, may there may be there right so extranet means these two uh, servers are apart physically and if you are supposed to get a connectivity with these two servers you have to have a dedicated path it is not internet no internet concept is there right these are completely local two local server got it yes sir so we will discuss elaborately uh, afterwards also okay any questions from any good books to follow hmm for our uh, syllabus uh, hmm any uh, good books to follow you suggest if you attend my class that will be sufficient to that study sufficient and, right? then also you will get uh, name of the books from your syllabus that i will provide later on okay okay sir प्रोग्राम लिखते हैं कौन कौन प्रोग्राम आसे जनरली आई मी ट्राई टू लैबोरेट दिस थिंग्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ माय स्टूडेंट्स ओके ओके चलो बाय जोन ने ओके टेक केयर तो नेक्स्ट सैटरडे बाय थैंक यू ओके नेक्स्ट सैटरडे अगेन आई विल स्टार्ट दिस क्वेश्चन ओके बाय थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सर हम्म बाय